Yemoja, mother of all seas. This is the mother of all Orishas as well. She is known as the queen of the ocean. She is the patron of women, particularly pregnant women, as well as fishermen and sunken ship survivors. Her symbols are the river stone, cowrie shells, as well as fans, cutlass, and fish. She is also symbolized by the mermaid, which is one of the forms that she takes. Her sacred day is the 2nd of September, but also the, fir- the 31st of December, 8th of December, and 7th of September. Her colors were blue and white. Like the other Orishas, she originated in the Nigeria Benin area of Africa, but spread with the others to South America, including Brazil and Cuba, where she has a major following. But she is a deity brought to us by the Yoruba people. And her Western assimilation manifests itself in the Virgin Mary, also often called Our Lady of Navigators. Yamoja is the deity of all Osins. She is said to be the mother of the Orisha and expresses her mothering nature through earthly and the heavenly realms as well. She is the matriarchal head of the cosmic universe. She is the ambionic fluid in the womb of a pregnant woman, as well as the nurturing milk from her breast. She is known to be stern and temperamental and expresses protective energy associated to the female force. And being of the earth, she is proficient in the secret arts and will use them to protect her devotees. But she is also represented as Mami Wata, the water spirit who takes the form of the mermaid. It, it is from her that the foundation of all other mermaid myths would follow. And in this form, she expresses playfulness and fun and the giving bounty of the world. Her parents are Aduwa and Ovatala. She is married to Angu and they have several children that are themselves Orisha, 15 in total. And in making offerings to, to this deity, she is fond of necklaces, uh, particularly seven turquoise beads and clear stones, which are used to honor her. And pregnant women should wear this necklace as a talisman of protection for their unborn child. The power and influence of Yemoja, first as a mother deity, representing the female energy, not only as fertility and you know the key to life but also as this ultimate protector force and through that she is uniquely connected with the earth using its elements to manifest her power and her secondary role as the mermaid and her connection to the sea just highlights how her influence has spread around the globe obviously very strong in africa particularly upon the western hemisphere of africa or the western coast of africa but reaching all the way to the Americas. And not only did she reach the Americas as an Orisha, she remains exceptionally popular and powerful. And when we look at Yamaya, we obviously have to associate her with other very powerful mother deities. We would look at Aset from the Nubian Kemetic belief system and also Hera of Greek or Roman mythologies, both who played more of a of a recessed role but were known throughout the pantheon as being uh, among their most powerful and you can check out videos that we've done on both of those deities i'll include links um thank you for joining us here at nine world chronicles we will continue our discussion about the Eurasias. please be sure to leave your comments and suggestions and always be sure to like and subscribe